Hello friends, I am your friend Chandra Bhola and you are watching Bhola Mac Tech. So today in this video we are going to discuss about this flywheel. So uh, we are going to discuss a lot of things about it. I am sure you will going to learn several new things about this flywheel. So keep it, keep watching this video till the end. If you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe it at this moment so that you can get more videos, more stuff like this about related to the automobile. Please share this video to your friends also. First of all, the flywheel is required to store the energy because the engine produces energy only in one stroke, but it has to complete four strokes. One is intake, one is compression, another is power, and one is exhaust. And the power is the only stroke in which we get the energy from the engine, but there are several three more strokes on which the piston has to go up and down. So where will the energy come from? So that's why this energy, the energy from this power stroke has to be stored somewhere so that it can be utilized to, to make th other three strokes also. So when the energy is stored inside this flywheel, whenever the uh, engine goes in another stroke that is exhaust stroke, the piston is going up. So that's why this flywheel is providing the energy for the piston to go up. And then the intake stroke, it has to suck the air from outside. So that's why again the flywheel is providing some energy to suck the air. And the third stroke and the compression stroke is also again compressing the air fuel mixture. So then again a lot of amount of energy is required in that. So that's why this is provided by the flywheel only. So flywheel stores the ener energy using its moment of inertia. So moment of inertia is another concept that requires a lot of things to understand. The momentum of inertia is something like uh, if you are rotating something because of its mass it is again having some moment. So since it is in the rotational motion, so here we call it moment of inertia. Because of its mass, it will be trying to rotate, keep on rotating, keep on rotating. But due to the frictional motion, after some time it will come to rest. So this is the storage of energy, how the flywheel stores the energy. So when, when there are several strokes that are taking place inside the engine, it is rotating, keep on rotating. So uh, when the power strike takes place, there is a lot of energy produced by the engine. And that rotate that that uh, power stroke provides the rotation to this wheel, and then due to its mass, it will keep on rotating. In this way, it stores the energy. There are several uses of the flywheel. Are that the, it is used for power smoothing because uh, in the engine, you know, uh, the power stroke is only once. So uh, so the uh, so there will be a lot of vibration in the engine due to that. Now another point is energy storage is also required that I already explained and another thing that pre that was previously used by some of the some of the machines or that kind of thing so that's why they, uh, they use this gyroscopic effect of the wheel because when this is connected to something and it is keep on rotating then due to the gyroscopic effect it it will keep the machine in the same alignment so that's why it was uh, previously used for the gyroscopic effect also so in this way it has so many uses inside an engine so one more use is that it is used for starting the engine because it is directly connected to the crankshaft and uh, uh, the starter motor is connected uh, with these gears you can see right here in the self uh, in the self start bikes or cars or, or any other automobile uh, the starter motor is directly connected to the flywheel when the starter motor rotates the flywheel starts rotating and when the flywheel rotates the crankshaft connected to this flywheel also starts rotating and hence eliminating the use of the kick because when you kick you are just turning the crankshaft right there so that uh, that, uh, that the, the the functioning of the kick is replaced by the uh, starter motor which is rotating the flywheel and hence the uh, crankshaft so this is how it is used for self starting the vehicle so there are several mathematical formulas about it also that is uh, it stores energy in the in the formula like half i omega square where i is the moment of inertia of this wheel and omega is the moment uh, or is the angular velocity of this wheel because when this uh, wheel is rotating it must be having some angular angular velocity and it it must be having some moment of inertia because of its weight now the moment of inertia can be calculated uh, by half m r extent r external that is radius of the external wheel external die of the wheel external radius of the wheel and my, plus r internal square that is the uh, square of the internal radius of the wheel when, when uh, both of these are added we get the moment of inertia of the wheel and when we put this value inside the uh, inside this formula we get the energy that is stored by a wheel 
now uh, what what is uh, what is required is that the energy that is stored by this wheel must be greater than the energy that is required for conducting the intake compression and exhaust stroke because if the energy is less than that the engine is not going to work because it is it it might not be able to conduct all uh, other three strokes so that's why it must be required to store more energy than the energy required for these three strokes other than the power stroke so uh, uh, previously the so previously the flywheel was made from cast iron only in the previous engines you you might have seen the older engines of uh, some generator engines uh, the flywheel is still there of the cast iron but but uh, when the enhancement takes place in the automobile industry they they make the flywheel from steel or they make the flywheel from the aluminum also they choose different different material since the weight required is same but they choose different different material because as the material changes the strength of the wheel also changes because uh, the strength is required because when the wheel is rotating there is mv square by r is the force that is uh, that is acting on a particular mass of the wheel which is pulling that mass outward because it is rotating at really high uh, high rpm so that's why the mv square by r the force on a particular mass of this flywheel will be very much higher so that's why there is a lot of good strength which is required in the wheel for getting that strength we are uh, you, we we have to change the material of the flywheel so that it can get that much strength so i think you got to learn a lot of things about this flywheel one more thing i want to tell you is that efficiency of the flywheel efficiency of the flywheel can be uh, termed as the maximum energy that can be stored inside the flywheel per unit weight um if uh, the energy stored by the flywheel of one unit weight will be the efficiency of the flywheel so this is as simple as that this is a simple formula you can calculate the efficiency of the flywheel so i think you got to learn a lot of new things about the flywheel if you have still have any doubts and inquiries you can please feel free to ask me in the comment section below you can ask me on the instagram also you can ask me on the facebook also share this video to your friends also because they are also required to know about this flywheel thanks for watching keep watching keep sharing and keep supporting guys thanks a lot